Labour is a magnificent and sizable building built in the 750s by Abdurrahman I who had fled from Syria following the Abbasid takeover of the Islamic world in 750. The, though Seville was the first capital of the Muslim rule in Spain, Cordoba eventually did become the capital and it was this mosque which which in fact formed the basis of the Muslim society here in Cordoba. Of course the ruler himself lived in the palace, which we'll be visiting shortly, but this was the centre, this mosque was the centre of the Cordoban society. The mosque itself is quite large. In the centre of the mosque we find the courtyard, which is punctuated by a number of trees, whilst the has been built up around the courtyard. To my right, we see the main prayer area of the mosque and it is within that prayer area that we find the characteristic arches and pillars which appear as a forest. The quarter of a mosque comprises a great many arches which themselves rest upon columns. The columns are of diverse stock and we know this from the fact that the shape of the plinths at the top of the columns tend to differ from one another. As regards the arches themselves, they are of a characteristic red colour and this may well be accounted for by the fact that red was the Umayyad colour. The Great Mosque of Cordoba contains several hundred magnificent arches whose graceful presence provides for a forest-like atmosphere and scene throughout the mosque and adds greatly to the aesthetic ambiance of the building complex on the whole. the great many arches and columns across the length and breadth of the mosque. The fact that many of the columns do have very different plinths from one another does suggest that the arches and the columns does suggest that the columns are of diverse origin. <laughs> 